Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's bantamweight bout between Norma DeMont versus um, Jermaine Durandamy. And how do I feel about this one right here is I'm going average confidence um Norma DeMont to beat Jermaine Durandamy. And um, yeah, average confidence Norma DeMont. But Norma DeMont is no, I guess, she's not new to getting chinned or hurt. I think um, Carol Rosa dropped her in that fight. And um, what's her name? I be forgetting these people's names so bad, but um, let's check her record. You know, the big, the big tall um featherweight, former featherweight um fighter. She fought a man in this once fighting for a title, and I think she was. I don't know if she was an Invicta champion, but I forget her name right now. It's eluding me. But she, she be um, she's a pretty popular enough figure. She be doing prediction videos at times. I think I don't know if she does that anymore on YouTube. Yeah. She'd be an analyst and stuff, but yeah. Anyway, but she got she got um, rocked by Carol. She won that won that fight, but she definitely had a fight where she lost, and that was at forty five. I think that was her debut in the UFC. Came out pretty good with a lot of steam, but then got set up and got touched. And so again, she's not too um she's not new to getting chin like on feet. I think Jermaine Durandamy is probably the best. Matter of fact, Jermaine Durandamy is clearly the best striker. She said, for a matter of fact, Jermaine Durandamy might be the best. You no. Know, you know, pure striker in all of women's MMA history. I'm talking about pure striking. I'm not talking about, you know, this force and everything. And not even then, like, all that combined or this individual aspect, she probably still ranks, like, high in all those aspects of as far as women's MMA ranking go. You know, obviously, Cyber probably, you know, more forceful and probably would win the fight, you know, pair pure striking matchup because of her physical presence and or power in the pure striking matchup. But even then, she probably would wrestle her up a little bit, too. Like, Manny Nunes obviously wrestled her up both times. Like, she didn't like how the feet were striking going on. So, Manny Nunes wrestled her. That's probably the one person that Manny Nunes feel like she had to wrestle. Oh, uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, Jermaine Durandamy is a slick, like, you know, slick, clean strike with good power, good technique, very sharp, very high level Dutch kickboxing. And, yeah, that definitely worries me with Jermaine, with um, Norma DeMont potentially getting chin or potentially walking into something or potentially getting set up and hit with something. Her head, move, her head, like, moving could be a little bit stiff. She can be a little bit square on her feet, and that concerns me. But I think the good thing about Norma DeMont here, she is more well-rounded, and she could look to mix it up. Also, Durant, me, I think, had a kid. She's been inactive over these past couple years. She's older now. But definitely a wide-open fight, but I'm leaning to the more well-rounded fighter, the fighter who's been active. And I think she's going to, you know, there's going to be some concerns on the feet, but I think she'll be able to hold her own. And I think she'll be able to um, look to set up some takedowns and maybe draw out those, those you know, when, you know, look to, you know, kind of game Jermaine Durant, me. When Durant, I mean, she's setting her up for something, you know, be the duck under, score the takedown, get that top position, is really wear her down. And, you know, probably not going to be the prettiest fight, but it's going to be one fight that she's going to need do what she needs to do. Maybe she's going to get hurt, maybe get chin, but then she's going to get that body locked and try to, you know, work away against the clip, you know, against the cage and, you know, get that head pressure and just really try to smother um, Jermaine Durant, make it ugly and get it to the ground and then try to ride that top position out, get some, you know, real good top control, maybe get some... Um, decent ground pound there to, you know, survive around or edge around. But I definitely think, you know, the X factor will be the fact that Dumont is the more around the fighter. And Jermaine, Jermaine Durant might have, you know, worked on those part of her game, but it's still clearly the weakest part of her game. Good, good enough level, but I think a fighter of Dumont's level can, um, you know, find success in that area. And I think she will look to find success in there. And I think she will find success there. But, I definitely don't think it's going to be the easiest fight. I think it's going to be one of those awkward fights, but she's going to do what needs to be done you know, to get a win and get a win over a former champion um, in this sport. Like, former featherweight champion, um, Jermaine Durandamy, get it. that's going to be a nice feather in cap. It's not going to be pretty, but, you know, get get it done and get onto another fight where she can have a prettier performance. So, in this one, I got Norma DeMont via decision. 